a lot of our lighthouse keepers and their families. Lots of kids grew up here. Brittany and Rick LeBlanc learning the history about the Cape and Rage Lighthouse. It shone light and called out to sailors in the Bay of Fundy before Confederation. And for the last 30 years, it's called out to tourists seeking a unique adventure. The Moncton couple has never been here before, but they're impressed with the award-winning site. Yeah, this is pretty amazing, to be honest, like to be right at the Bay of Fundy, like it's, it's gorgeous. And to have all these activities here for not only like tourists ourselves, but for our families, we're definitely gonna come back and check out some of the activities. Sylvie Mignon is the assistant manager at Cape and Rage. She says there are lots of activities here. Um, we have the zip lining that you see right here that it gives you a thrill of a lifetime. You have the rappelling down the 140 foot cliff, which is really amazing. The zip line provides a breathtaking view. Morgan Killam is the master guide at Cape and Rage. He admits it takes special skills and not just gravity to convince someone to ride this ride or rappel down a 40 meter cliff. Mm -hmm. How do you convince somebody to do a rappel for the first time? You gotta tell them that everything that they're, they're using, all their equipment is meant for it and it's not just something we throw together, it's all built for it. And then you gotta build that trust. You're almost making a friend when you're doing it. Like each of your clients, you build a connection with every time. You see the fear in your eyes and you let them know you had that fear too your first time. That it's natural to feel scared when you're going off a 140 foot cliff. But there are less visitors to Cape and Rage due to the COVID pandemic. Last year, the site did not open. General Manager Jim Campbell admits they will see less visitors this year than in previous seasons, but he's optimistic about the Atlantic bubble. Our, our big thing for 2021 is, uh, is the amount of tourists that we may get to make the site viable. Um, we, uh, we know our numbers aren't going to be great, so it is very concerning right now where, where we're going to end up, but we're very hopeful. But Diane Gotro and her husband are here today. She says Cape and Rage is a custom fit for tourists wanting the great outdoors and like the lighthouse, a feeling of security. Well, I think, you know, adventure is what New Brunswickers are looking for right now and getting out there and, and the fact that the, um, the, the, the hiking and the, the climbing is, is getting to be a very popular sport. I think that it's great that they're, you know, offering better and bigger challenges for everybody. So we have tree fossils here. Um, they're all 320 million years old. This year, Cape and Rage begins a lesson of local fossils. Sylvie Mignon says the cliffs and shores are full of prehistoric rock. We're adding some activities. We have the fossil tour this year that is going to add a lot to our site. The, the, the geology of this area, the whole New York is, is quite interesting. Cape and Rage may be surrounded by choppy waters, but it didn't keep sailors away. And with the challenges facing Canada and the world, staff here hope in the weeks ahead, tourists will visit this historic site.